Hello everybody, I hope everyone is fine and as I have discussed in the previous video that today I will be talking about the resistance calculation okay, in a MOSFET circuit. So today there will be some discussion about the resistance calculation or say the impedance calculation uh, in a MOSFET circuit and where you are looking from say from the drain end or say from the source end whatever what you are going to get and say there is a diet connected circuit so what impedance you are going to get. So we, uh, we are going to discuss and also there are some questions or gate questions so we will also solve them in parallel. So let's start. Let's begin our discussion by these two circuits. Okay. So we are going to calculate the impedance by looking into the drain into these circuits. Okay. So this is a MOSFET and the output resistance is R0 and the transconductance is GM. Okay. So when you are going to find the output impedance, say looking from the drain, so what you will do, you will connect a voltage source, say a value V, and then the current which is flowing from that voltage source so if you take out the ratio like v by i then you will get the output impedance which you are looking from the drain end you look into this circuit then you can see that there is a resistor rs which is added at the source end so then what is going to happen then the r equivalent means the resistance which, which you are seeing from the drain end that will be higher than your ro if you look into the small signal equivalent circuit for this where you are connect, uh, calculating the output impedance and current i is flowing from the v okay one thing is that where i have mentioned that the current which is i naught that is also equal to i okay it was my mistake okay and you can see that the gate and the body are already connected to ground because we are calculating the impedance so okay and your body should be connected to ground because we generally connect the body of the nmos to the lowest potential so what is the value of the vgs that is only minus vs because gate is at zero potential and similarly what is my vbs that is also minus vs Okay, so there are two current sources. What is uh, one is minus GM into VS, which is mentioned, and then there is minus GMB into VS. And from drain to source, also there is a output impedance which is R0. And from source to ground, there is a uh, impedance which is connected that is my RS. So if you see this diagram, so basically this two current sources are in parallel. So we can, and also there is a VS dump which is common. So we can easily add, add out this GM and GMB. And since there is a minus sense, so for which I have reversed the direction. Okay, so now if you calculate it, then what you can see that there is already a voltage drop because of IRS. Okay, so your VS is equal to IRS. And between this voltage V and this VES, which is my IRS, there is a resistor which is my R0. So between this voltage, which is VR0, that is my V minus VS. Over there, there is a current which is flowing. Okay, and if you just do a KCL, if you do a KCL, then also you will see that if you add this to current, let's say GM plus GMB into IRS plus I, that current is actually flowing through the R0. So if you just take I in one side and V in one side, then you are going to get RO in addition with some factor multiplied with RS. So now we are going to discuss that how it is formed. One thing always remember that the impedance at the drain end is very high. So when you are looking from the drain end, so you will see a resistor res output impedance, which is R0, but your RS that will be multiplied with one plus GM dash into R0, where your GM dash is nothing but your transconductance, which is GM. And there is also a transconductance, which is due to body bias, which is my GMB. Okay. So when you are looking the resist resistance in from the drain end, then it will be the summation of R0 and then there will be a multiplication factor with RS. Similarly, if you are looking the, into the drain from the PMOS, there also you will see that it is that the impedance from the drain end is, is the sum of R0, 1 plus GMB plus GM into R0 and whole multiplied with RS. And this you can actually, if you do the following for the PMOS in your notebook, then also you can get the same result. So this is the best example which I get. And this was asked in gate 2018 in ECE batch. So here we have to calculate the output resistance at the drain node that we have to calculate and we also have to calculate the overall transconductors. Okay. So there are two or in most transistors which are which is given where I can tell you that this M1 is your amplifying device. Okay. This is your amplifying device because here in your VGS your input will be connected. Okay. And this one is like a cascode connection it is more like a cascode connection we will we, uh, we will uh, discuss about it that how this cascode connection is helping to get more gain okay you can see that there are two identical nmos which is given and then over there it, it is said that the output is taken here the output is taken and your input is given over here which i already said that here the input will be given okay and there is also said that the vd and the v bias are connected in such a way that both the transistors are in saturation 
okay i think this is this must have been clear uh, to you that if these two are not in saturation then this entire thing will not act as an amplifier i i think this will be clear to you okay so now here gm is given gm here what is the meaning of this gm that i'm going to explain suppose this is my mosfet m1 and you are applying say uh, ac voltage v in i am just considering the small signal analysis small signal analysis hmm. so suppose you are applying a small signal voltage and suppose you have connected it to some load some load is there okay so this v in v in that is your from here to here that is your vgs that is your gate to source voltage because of this gate to source voltage here you will get a current which will be say id so here they have said that del id uh, del id divided by del vgs that is your transconductors because of this vgs you are generating this current we okay so this is already given and in a mosfet in a mosfet there uh, already if we go through the small signal small signal analysis then we already see just a minute then we already see say, say this is my tr transistor m1 okay so for this transistor m1 if you just do the small signal analysis say this is gate this is source and this is drain so this is my gate and this is my source okay so this is my vgs and from drain to source this is my small signal equivalent okay from uh, this is my drain and here there will be a uh, output resistance this output resistance is this one which is given okay and you will see also that this is actually nothing but del vds divided by del it okay and this one your this current this current is equal to gm into vgs because there is a current which will be flowing and this is my this is the terminal this is my drain terminal and this is my source terminal okay so now here what they have but if it is a single transistor if there is a single transistor say only m1 is there then you can say that your estimate for gm and ro so if there is only single transistor and say this is vd okay and this is m1 okay and say this is g where your input is connected and already not you can uh, think it like that your input is connected but already it has to be like uh, there has to be a dc voltage and then there has to be a small signal voltage this dc will ensure that your m1 transistor is in saturation okay so if only one mosfet is there then what will be my answer then my gm will be normal gm1 normal gm1 which is over there because you are giving a vgs over here for that there will be a current which will be flowing but what will be my uh, ro that ro will be also ro1 because if i change the color say so from here to here you will get an ro from drain to source okay but if there is another another transistor which is given in a cascode connection which is uh, over here so if this connection is over here so now you will see that say this is my drain now i have now there is a resistor okay so now what you are going to see see you are just analyzing you are doing the ac analysis so naturally it is connected with ground since this is a mosfet so naturally so our body is also connected with ground and here we are not considering they have not mentioned anything about the body bias so i can ignore it although in my previous explanation i have already given you uh, i have already said you about the body bias okay this is my m2 and here i have applied some say voltage in and some drain voltage okay and from here i am calculating that what will be my output impedance so my setup will be something like this that there is another one another circuit where you are applying say a vd and for that you will get id okay and your output impedance will be vd by id okay so this is my m1 and since you are calculating this vd and output impedance so you have to you can't enable your input signal so you have to also keep it ground okay so now you can see it that already so you can see that drain to source there is an ro if i just change the color so then you can see that from here to here there will be an ro ro if you just replace it with the small signal diagram say so say what is the equivalent impedance which we are looking from here so what you will get you will get something like that your gate is connected to ground and your this is say your vgs vgs is zero you can see that your vgs is zero okay and so naturally there cannot be any current which will be flowing which is your zero current and this is my drain here it is the drain so here if you just place it ro 
and you are looking from this end which i have shown here that this this connection okay so if you are looking from this end so how much resistance you are seeing that is ro okay so what can i do i can replace this circuit with only ro because it is a, it is a, it is a fact that it is a, it is it is truth that here only ro1 is connected it is connected in such a way okay the only ro1 is connected now already we have discussed that if something is connected at source and you are looking from the drain then how much impedance you will get the your impedance will be say this is my ro2 okay so how much impedance you will get you will get ro2 plus 1 plus gmb i am considering gmb as zero because it's not given okay so you can consider like gm ro2 and it will be your gm2 ro2 okay because this because transconductance of this mosfet is considered so it will be gm2 ro2 into ro1 because here here this ro1 is acting like an rs which we have discussed in the earlier slide so if you just uh, means estimate it it will be more like gm2 ro2 and ro1 so your answer will be this one this one and now that uh, although we are not discussing we are not going to discuss anything about gain or transconductance but for simplicity i'm just saying that if you just assume this if you just see this circuit uh, watch watch this one which i'm uh, going to explain you if you see that there is all there is in in m1 you are applying an input voltage which is vn okay and here from here there will be a current which will be id here also the same id will flow because both are in series so from drain end also id will flow so naturally it is only this trans this mosfet which is controlling all the current so your overall transconductance will be gm1 so your answer c is the correct answer forwarding to the next topic which is the diode connected circuit and if we see that uh, the impedance from the drain end then we are going to get 1 by gm okay so in the diode connected what is the connection my gate and drain are connected to each other so when gate and drain are connected to each other so my vgs gate to source voltage and drain to source voltage are same so across this current source which is gm into vgs the voltage across it is also vds so if you just look into the impedance which is over there then the voltage across the current source is vds and the current which is flowing that is gm into vgs so now if we calculate the impedance which is v by i then we will get the impedance as 1 by gm okay and so now if you see the ratio between v and i means v divided by i because we are calculating the impedance from uh, from the drain end so naturally the voltage source what it is seeing it is seeing ro which is parallel with this rx so this ro is in parallel with 1 by gm so that is almost equal to 1 by gm so for a diode connected device the equivalent impedance is always 1 by gm so i diode, say there is a diode connected device so when there is a diode connected device and you are doing any ac equivalent and so you can just replace a resistor from drain to source whose impedance is equal to 1 by gm okay and the similar explanation you can is also valid for a pmos okay for the pmos it is also same the equivalent impedance is equal to 1 by gm parallel of ro that is 1 by gm here this is my pmos okay so in the pmos this is my gate and this is my drain since drain are gate and drain are connected to each other since gate and drain are connected to each other so immediately you can say that the impedance from here to here is 1 by gm1 there is no need of telling anything else so you can discard the other fact like this you just discard it okay so just discard it so at the output impedance to ground you can see 1 by gm1 but this is when you are seeing down but what is when you are seeing up okay so when you are seeing up when you are seeing up then what you can see then uh, this v in you you can just consider this as a say ac ground and from here to here you will get a vgs which is my v in because this is already zero okay so this v in is already equal to vgs because of that there will be a current okay not in this direction the, here there will be a current of say gm2 into vgs and again there is no, no need of body bias over here because anyhow from here to here the body will be connected to the highest potential so anyhow your body body bias question is not arising here yes here the body bias can arise but here they have not given anything related to body bias so i am just ignoring so because of this vgs you will have a current which will be flowing and also what you will see that there is a current and also from say this is my m2 which is given m2 so already i have said that there will be a current which will be flowing and also from drain to source 
so from my drain to source what you will get you will see that there will be an ro uh, you can see that there will be an ro2 okay and one thing i should I, I i don't need to mention you that in the previous one i have also said that it is approximately equal to 1 by gm1 but if it is a direct connected say this one like where this is my m1 where your gate and train are connected so what will be the impedance across here that will be 1 by gm1 parallel ro1 with although we just ignore it and keep it like 1 by gm1 okay but uh, this parallel one can help you in finding out the uh, answer okay so so basically what what now you are seeing that over here there is an ro ro2 in for m2 you are seeing an ro2 and then you will see that uh, there is a drift from drain to source there will be a current which will be gm2 into v in. okay that current you will just a minute that current you will get like gm2 into v in. okay so what is my what is uh, my overall circuit now so just by seeing the circuit you can uh, easily solve this type of questions so you can just imagine it like this that there are there is a gm because of this v in okay so say if this is my drain and this is my source so from drain to source there will be say there will be gm2 into v in that current you will see flowing to ground and there you will see that there are three resistance in parallel one is from m2 which is your ro2 and another one is from uh, m1 which is my basic which is my one by gm1 and another one is my which is connected to ground that is my r1 so what you will get from at the output node remember this is my drain which is given over here okay so what you will get you will get r1 parallel r2 parallel 1 by gm1 just this is my equivalent impedance like r1 parallel r2 parallel 1 by gm1 okay so what will be my voltage gain that is my v out by v in uh, mx table sorry just a minute v out by v in although derivative there is no need of derivative so since it's a common source amplifier the, this is a common source amplifier so your answer will be minus gm2 into ro1 parallel ro2 parallel 1 by gm1 hmm? so your answer is this one minus gm2 divided by 1 by gm1 actually if you just approximate it and uh, say you there is an amplifying device say this is my amplifying device it can be say this is nmos okay and on the top you have connected any diode connected say diode connected device okay and here you are giving your input this is out and here you are getting your output okay and this is your ac ground or say something this is your doubt this is your diode connected okay diode connected so anyhow this nmos has to be common source okay so so what will be what generally what we do so say this is this is uh, this nmos has a transconductance of say gmn okay and this diode connected has an overall impedance of as an overall impedance of say by gmd so basically uh, what will be my voltage gain voltage gain at this output voltage gain so my voltage gain will be equal to minus gmn divided by gmd here also you can see that you can ignore this part so here also you will get minus gm2 by gm1 okay here uh, i'm just seeing this equation by just neglecting the output impedances okay we have already discussed that what will be the impedance of the circuit when we are looking from the drain end but we have not yet discussed that what will be the impedance if we are looking from the source end so here is a explanation that what will be the impedance when we are looking from the source end so i have uh, connected a voltage source v whose current I, I, I is flowing and since gate is connected to ground so the gate to source voltage is minus of v and this current i is also flowing through the rd because it doesn't has any path so it has to flow okay and if this rd is not present okay say in this rd if it is replaced with the ideal current source then this i cannot flow okay because if it is a current source then the ideal the, the um, impedance which is in parallel that is infinite so that current cannot flow so this current i has only one path which can flow through this rd this must has to this has to be clear okay so the, when this current i is flowing so there can be two paths one through the current source and another one through the r naught so as we know that in the mosfet the current flows from drain to source which is equal to gm into vgs so here my vgs is minus v so minus gm bar into v is flowing from drain to source Achha, gm bar why we are i am considering because there is also a body bias okay because my body is at lower potential and my source is at potential v so there is a potential drop over here okay so that is why i have considered this gm gm bar which has both gm and gmd and if you consider it because gate is also connected to gate is connected to ground and body is also connected to ground so body to source potential is minus vs and minus vs which is my minus minus vs 
I, or I can say that the, my Vs is equal to V. So the body to source potential is minus V and gate to source potential is also minus V. So that is why I have added. Okay. So there are two type two current which are flowing. So if I just change the negative sign to positive, so my current direction has to be opposite. So with this I when this I1 current is flowing, I sorry, I current is flowing, then there are two uh, two paths. One is through GM uh, GM bar V and another current is flowing through R0 and then the, the sum is flowing through the RD. Okay, so if you just compare the current across the R0 two equation, okay, say one is from the KCL which is 1 minus GM bar into V and another one is the say potential difference between the two nodes, one is at potential V and another potential is I into RD and so the potential difference divided by the impedance. So if we calculate then we will see that RD plus R0 divided by 1 plus GMB, 1 plus GM plus GMB whole multiplied with R0, this you are going to get. So when you are looking from the source, you are seeing that there are two resistors in series. One is that R0, which is my output impedance that is also divided by 1 plus GM bar into R0 and your RD is also divided by 1 plus GM bar into R0. And if you just see, then if you just looking into the source, then you will see that RD divided by R0 that is uh, very less, that is negligible and RO divided by 1 plus GM bar into RO that you, if you simplify, then you will see that GM bar much much greater than 1 by RO because RO is much higher so there you will get only 1 by GM bar so when you are looking uh, at the source then you will see that it is almost equal to 1 by GM bar but generally the sum of the resistance divided by 1 plus GM plus GMB into R0 that's our impedance okay and this question was asked in gate 2020 so from here they are at they are uh, seeing the impedance from the source end. So already I have discussed that what will be the source impedance. So say this is so here it is R and here is your RDS which is your RDS and this is your source. So if you are looking from the source end so naturally your RDS will be divided by 1 plus GM RDS. And I am uh, since there will be some body effect over there, but I am just uh, ignoring it because they have also not mentioned it. And this will be your one plus, and this is your AC ground because this will be your AC ground. Okay, uh, I have already explained in my previous videos. Okay, and this will be your GM into RDS. So what will be my total impedance? My total impedance will be R plus RDS divided by one plus GM RDS. So always remember one thing that that at the drain end in any MOSFET, say this is my MOSFET. At drain end, the impedance is higher. Say this is my ZD and this is my ZS. So my ZD is much much higher than the ZS. So the so here you also you can see that at the source end there is the impedance is actually reducing. Okay, because in the denominator you can see the term one plus GM into RDS. This is a little different question, but uh, it is related to our amplifying concept. Okay, so anyhow whatever the question comes, we have to just apply our concepts and we can do it okay so it is already said that there is a transistor m1 and uh, your mu and cox is given and your w by l ratio and mobility is also already given means mu and cox given so mobility cox that is already given wl the channel length commodulation coefficient is ignored it means your uh, your lambda is zero so naturally your, your ro1 is equal to infinite is ignored said now already so there is no need of considering so you can just consider that for this m1 there is this vgs okay and not like this one let's say this is my gate and from gate to source there is a vgs and uh, i am again telling here it is looking like that this is more of like a dc value okay suppose it is changing a little bit a small signal say there is a say this is my voltage and say there is a dc value and on top of it say this is my this is the value which is over there at the top of it okay so there is a little value so then what will happen then because of this vgs there will be a current which will be flowing gm1 into vgs from drain to source and this this drain is connected over here okay and then there you can see that uh, on with the drain since my ro1 infinite ro1 is equal to infinite so at the drain end you will see that there is this rd only but this is only small signal here it doesn't seems that it is a small signal question okay it's a direct dc question okay so now what they have said that your if your gate to source voltage just i for gate examination my uh, suggestion to you to read the question as much as you can for that once you are preparing for in your home, there you should read your questions as much as you can. 
okay so that will actually help you that will actually help you to trigger your subconscious mind or that will make you more perfect so in the question if you spend too much time on reading the question then anyhow you will be uh, penalized right uh, so then what will happen you will get less time for solving the questions but you have you need to mo do more practice so that you are so attentive and you it, it will be like whatever you are reading for say one times or two times that will be enough for you okay like here i am just seeing this question for the first time but i okay that is not an issue i am doing it because i have practiced a lot so your vgs is already kept to one voltage and your transistor is kept as the age of saturation so your vds is already kept as vgs minus vtn Achha, this vtn for this uh, mosfet because there is any in anyhow there is only one mosfet so your vds is equal to one minus vtn okay so now they have told us to find out the threshold volt uh, threshold voltage of this transistor okay so now we have to find out that for under this condition i can keep this transistor at the age of saturation let me tell you one thing that this id which is flowing over here that will be the saturation current which is my half mu n cox w by l into vgs minus vtn whole square okay so i am running out of page so let me just delete a few things and then we can go into it so this is this is uh, this is the equation this is the equation which i have this uh, like id into mu n into and what is my vds you can see that this is my vds actually my vds is equal to v out so you your drop across this because your v out is nothing but your v out is nothing but vdd minus id into rd so your vdd minus id rd has to be equal to vgs minus vtn i hope you have got it because this is your v out which is your vds so your vds needs to be kept at the age of saturation which is my vgs minus vtn okay so now if you solve it now you know already you know the values so naturally it will be 0.5 into 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 into w by l that is 10 okay then you have vgs that is 1 minus 1 minus say vtn vtn whole square and then you will see that there is uh, which i said you that this will be this is my current okay this is my id and what is my condition what is what was my earlier condition my earlier condition was that vdd minus id into rd needs to be 1 minus vtn that is my vgs minus vtn so now if you see that this is 3 minus say this is 50 and the here you will get uh, this here you will get 500 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 and here rd you are getting so id into rd if you do so you will get 500 and here there is 20 kilo ohm so it is like 20 into 10 to the power 3 now you just cancel this 3 so here you will get another 3 and this 0 0 so this 3 will get cancelled so only 10 will be remaining with you okay so 10 into 1 minus vtn whole square equal to 1 minus vtn so now if you just solve it then you will get the value of the vtn and you will get vtn is equal to 0.5 i believe that you have enjoyed the concepts okay and if you have any doubt then please comment on the section okay all the best everyone okay bye